Hey everybody, it's Lavender Town, and today I'm modernizing Mulan. So without further ado, let's get down to business. Mulan is one of my absolute favorite Disney characters of all time. I always loved the movie, and I thought that she was just great. Uh, she's really heroic, and I always admired that, and she was also a bit of a tomboy, which I also really identified with when I was a younger kid. So first I'm going to draw her in my style, just so you guys can directly see the changes that I make that don't have to do with my style. I picked this outfit because it's the one that she shows up in most when you search her on Google and it's also one that she seems very comfortable in so I thought I would pick that one. I also like the colors. So this style of outfit is pretty simple actually. Um, I'm sure that's to help with the animation process. I'm going to go a bit more detailed when it comes to modernizing her. Um, and I'm trying to think while I'm working on this uh, base form of Mulan about her personality and how I can transform that in the modern age. So basically Mulan is a character who doesn't necessarily feel super at home in the um, sort of role that society has put in front of her. She has a lot of trouble. She feels like she's going to embarrass herself and her family every time she tries to do the right thing or, you know, what people expect of her. So I was thinking um, the modern version of her might be a bit more, uh, I don't know, alternative. Not too much, of course, but just a little bit because it seems like in her story, um, one of the biggest themes, at least in the Disney version, is that she doesn't really feel like she fits in with the conventional idea of what a woman is supposed to be, um, especially within her own culture. She just seems to really struggle with it. So uh, I did already decided I'm not going to do any extra makeup on her in her modern day version, and I'm also going to lean a little bit more towards a tomboy look. I did a bit of research on sort of street style in China and the surrounding area and uh, it's it varies a lot of course. There's some really feminine fashions in China but there's also um, in the whole East Asian sort of uh, fashion industry there's a lot of really cool tomboy looks so I looked a little bit at K-pop because they have a lot of really really cool tomboy uh, sort of outfits uh, that I really adore so um, I was doing a bit of that and yeah now we really get into it so I knew right away I wanted to put her in a backwards baseball cap because that's very k-pop and like I said that became a big inspiration on how I modernized her I know that um, k-pop is from Korea and Mulan is from China but uh, I just really liked this k-pop tomboy look for her so Hopefully you'll pardon the mixing of cultures. It is true that um, K-pop does seem to be popular in both Japan and China, um, even though China and Japan both have their own sort of pop groups. K-pop seems to be really popular pretty much everywhere. And it's even getting really popular in America. I know I've been listening to K-pop for a long time, so um, I am curious to know if you guys are into K-pop too. Uh, but anyway, I digress. So uh, the other thing I'm thinking about with her is that she is athletic and she's energetic. She seems to be most in her element when she's physically doing something and she seems to be naturally good at athletic endeavors and uh, sort of like in the moment decision making. Uh, as we see throughout the movie, she makes some really important uh, movie decisions when she is seriously under the gun. Um, I'm <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying to avoid spoilers because probably everybody who's clicked on this video has already seen Mulan, but <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Um, and I'm also just making her look a little bit punk, um, so I'm giving her a tattoo on her, uh, on one of her arms of a Chinese dragon. And I also, um, I gave her one of these hats that I know you can buy in Japan. It just says boy on it for some reason. And I thought that would be kind of a funny nod to the sort of cross-dressing um, that is involved in the Mulan story. Uh, because in the Disney version, at least, she needs to pretend that she is a guy so that she could protect her father from having to go into the military again. Um, so she's a pretty cool and selfless kind of girl. And I gave her one of these um, sort of, I don't even know what you call it. It's where the, the sleeve hole in the sweatshirt is really big. Um, Cause I thought that could be a cool modern sort of uh, equivalent to this sash thing that she has in the middle of her waist. Um, that could just sort of sit visually in the same place. 
and also I, th you know, that's kind of an athletic look. Um, I know a lot of girls who work out uh, have sweatshirts that show off their sports bras, um, so that I kind of associate that with working out. Um, I also gave her a uh, slightly like thicker <laughs> legs and arms than I usually do for these princesses just because I do think she runs around a lot and also in the movie she seemed to have a bit of stockier proportions compared to how waifish a lot of the princesses are so I wanted to keep that I also thought it looks cute with her sporty kind of look um, and I gave her some nice little tennis shoes and yeah, just basically I wanted to make it look like she could run around and she's also very stylish. Uh, I should mention that in my previous Disney redraws, I worked off the same base for both of them, but lately I've been feeling like I've, I should incorporate sort of the modern attitude into these characters and it would be a lot better to do that with a different pose. So I'm trying this out for this one and I'll see how I like it um, as far as doing the others. Uh, so for the colors, I directly sampled them from the uh, character sheet that I originally pulled all the colors from um, so they're all they should be exactly the same as the ones you saw in the movie and I'm basically just using the paint bucket tool to test out a bunch of different areas and try to get the color balance similar to the original outfit of course it's not going to be exactly the same because she has different amounts of fabrics in different places and stuff so um, but I do want it to make it look uh, recognizably like the Mulan outfit and the Mulan color scheme so I am basically just moving all those colors around trying to balance everything out. I tried to give her a little cricket on her sneakers, but it, like her lucky cricket, but I realized um, because I didn't do it with the reference, it kind of just looks like a scarab beetle or something, um, but still kind of a cool look, I guess. Um, and then I was considering what to do with her hair, I wanted to do like an ombre thing because I know that's pretty much a very popular sort of hairstyle. Um, I tooled around with it being blonde or being pink or red or something like that. Um, just because I felt like if she's this like fashion oriented she might have done something with her hair so it's not just black. But uh, in the end, I kind of felt like it was distracting from a lot of stuff, so even though I messed around with it a lot, I just went back to black after a while because I felt like uh, I wanted to make sure it looked like Mulan in the end, even though I redrew her and everything. For the shading, I'm just using a reddish peachy color and I'm just using a multiplayer layer on top like usual. Um, and I'm just shading wherever I feel like it would make the character look like it has more of a 3D form. I'm not doing any strong light source, I'm just sort of shading to make the character look a bit more 3D um, because I really want the focus to be on the clothes in particular so I don't want to cover them too much with shading. I don't know about you guys but I would love to see a modernized Mulan story. Um, maybe not with her in the military because that would be kind of depressing about a young like teenager going into the military but somehow adopting the story for the modern age I think it would be really really cool um, and so many other of the princesses have gotten modern retellings but Mulan seems to get skipped a lot which is unfortunate because like I said before she is absolutely one of my favorites and I find um, her story to be one of the most compelling ones uh, in my opinion of course. Uh, so I'm tracing this little tattoo design and it's not too complicated, it's just sort of a uh, loose cartoony dragon shape. The trouble with um, doing a tattoo on a cartoony character is you have to make sure it looks simple enough that it looks like a drawing within a drawing. Um, so I couldn't add too much rendering or detail, I had to make sure it would look flat on top of my character. So yeah, now I'm just putting her hair back to black so that she still looks like herself a bit. And our little modern Mulan is complete. So I really enjoyed doing this one. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If this is your first Disney redraw of mine, check out the playlist. You can see the others. And if I haven't done your favorite princess yet, don't worry. I'm trying to work my way through all of them. So uh, just stay tuned for that. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon.
Big thank you to my patrons, including Muffins McGee, Pay Namel, Adrian Delport, Chartype, Den, Brock, Juan Alvarez, blah 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 blah, Adrian Morales, at Live Likes to Draw, and Kate Meekins. Thank you so much for your support.